ready, the really big, big, big earthquake is going to hit. 9.0. And it is coming, folks. No question. And when it does, it's going to affect 7 million people in the worst natural disaster in North American history. And I'm not even talking about Yellowstone Danger Zone. I'm talking about that North American plate unleashing that 9.0 earthquake that's predicted. It, it hasn't happened since the year 1700 with the event scheduled to happen once every 500 years or so. We are due for another any day now. And although it's not clear what will happen when this mega quake does hit, researchers at the University of Washington recently presented 50 possible scenarios of how the event might unfold. Earthquakes are typically measured using the Richter scale, named after, of course, the geologist who invented it back in the 1930s. The scale is numbered from 0 to 10. Although no magnitude 10 earthquake has ever been observed, making a 9.0 one of the most powerful quakes in recorded history. The predicted earthquake is dubbed the really big one. It will take place in North American plates, meet along the Cascadia sub subduction zone just north of San Andreas fault line. The earthquake would affect those living in coastal Washington State, Oregon, British Columbia, and Northern California. Now, back in 2015, the New Yorker articles predicted that the quake is subsequent tsunami that would follow it would affect 7 million people. There is no way to know exactly when this quake will strike, but folks, it's been two, it's been 317 years. It is overdue. And geologists typically use the past earthquakes to predict future ones. But no recording devices were around back in 1700 when the Cascadia earthquake. The researchers at the University of Washington hope to address this problem very soon. The team presented both the best and worst case scenarios of the potential 9.0 earthquake on the Cascadia sub subduction zone at the Geological Society of America's annual meeting back on October 24th of this year. The 50 simulations use different factors and com combinations such as where the epicenter would be, how far inland the earthquake would travel, where along the fault the shaking would be the strongest. They were run on supercomputers at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and the University of Texas of Austin. And although other reports have looked into possible scenarios of this predicted earthquake, this is the most in-depth scenario prediction to date. And... Uh, this is, I'm telling you folks, it's going to happen. It's already happened and it's overdue to happen again. Um, so everybody just stay on, you know, look, just stay prayed up, stay prepared. Jesus said that these things would happen. He said in the last days, there would be earthquakes in diverse places. I did a television show, actually did a, two television shows. It took two shows to do it called the Seven Prophetic Earthquakes. And you can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, powerful. I actually preached a message down in Lady Lake, Florida earlier this year. Uh, back in April, I preached a message, the seven prophetic earthquakes. And uh, it was a powerful time we had in the Lord down there. It just, it's, the, it's the facts. Just check it out. Biblically, earthquakes have, have happened in some of the most powerful times in history. Um, and this one's due. This one's way overdue. So we'll keep a close eye. I'm really watching... Cascadia Fault Line, the Yellowstone Supervolcano, the New Madrid Fault Line, and, the, and, the, and a major quake expected in San Francisco. These four events are all way overdue, way overdue. And so America, the warning's out. We got hit with three Category 4 hurricanes this year. 
We've never had two in one year, let alone three. But Hurricane Harvey hitting Houston, Texas, Hurricane Irma ripping through Florida, and Hurricane Maria destroying Puerto Rico, all in that 40-day window that God gave us a warning that in 40 days of repentance, we got hit with all three of those in that 40 days, plus massive record wildfires out west. The sun erupted twice with some of the biggest X flares in history during this, all during this 40 days, and two killer earthquakes hit Mexico, all during that same 40 days. But the Cascadia fault line is due, overdue, due, due. It is way overdue. So is New Madrid. So is Yellowstone. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. There's even an earthquake coming. Look, there was an earthquake the day that Moses got the Ten Commandments given to him on the mount. There was an earthquake the day Christ died on the cross and it ripped the, it shook Jerusalem and tore the veil in the temple in half. There was an earthquake the day Christ rose from the grave and many bodies of the saints were seen walking in the streets of Jerusalem. And there'll be a major earthquake as in Jerusalem where it's going to kill 7,000 people. That's according to Revelation 11. And that's probably the same quake that hits Zechariah chapter 14 when a massive quake hits and splits the Mount of Olives in half. So there's prophetic earthquakes. That's just a few. There's prophetic earthquakes throughout the Bible. But I can tell you, if a 9.0 hits Cascadia and a tsunami smashes into 7 million people, it would be a cataclysmic, catastrophic, apocalyptic, epic uh, event of biblical proportions. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. The big one is coming.